Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can take your Unreal Engine project and set it up for iOS and should put it on the App Store and Test Flight. So, uh, this isn't going to be showing you how you do like development builds or anything like that. Um, but for a lot of features in Unreal Engine, you actually have to have a shipping build or else it will fail for some reason, including like putting in a custom icon for the app. So, I'm going to be showing you how you can set this all up. So, you will need to have an Apple developer account, and that's pretty much all you have to have before this video starts. Um, so yeah, with your Apple developer account, go to developers.apple.com, or developer.apple.com I think, and then scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see this uh, certificates button. Go to that, create a new certificate for iOS distribution, and just select that box um, for the App Store. You want to do that one. And then it'll ask for a file. So go into your Mac and search for Keychain Access. Open up that app. Go to Keychain Access Services. And then select um, our Certificate Assistant. And then request a certificate from a certificate authority. And then it's going to let you go through so you can basically just do all the default settings here um, you just need to put in uh, your name your email address all that stuff and yeah you will need to save to disk and yeah that's pretty much the only setting you need to change here I checked the box on the bottom but you don't need to do that you just need to hit save to disk because we're gonna want to save this file because we're gonna be needing it right here in a minute so once it's done, pick a spot in your computer where you can save it to. I'm just going to use my desktop to save this one, but you save it anywhere you want. Uh, then just press done. And this won't show up for you probably, and now it's going to load, and it's just going to save you. And then you can press done. And now you'll have it, so you can go back and choose that file in the developer.app.com, and hit choose, or open, and then... You can continue on in the process on the website. You'll need um, to download it. So just keep this for later because we're going to upload it to the Unreal Engine. <coughs> go back to the main developer.app.com and make a new identifier. So go to identifiers, hit the plus icon next to identifiers. And for this, you're going to make an app IDs. You want an app, not an app clip. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna just call it your app name. And then for the bundle ID or the app ID, what we're gonna need is um, just something you're gonna remember. I would recommend writing this down because we're gonna need it later in Unreal Engine. So yeah, just take note of it. Whatever you put in here, you can change um, capabilities. But yeah, right here, whatever you type in here, you have to remember later on. So just write it down, and because we're gonna download this. And we're going to put it in Unreal Engine. Okay. So now that we made our identifier, we want to make a provisioning profile. So you click on the profile bar on the left-hand side of the uh, developer.apple.com or the certificate thing. And then hit plus on profiles. We want to make a distribution. Distri distribu we want to distribute it. So hit App Store under Distribution. Um, and then just hit continue. Now select the app ID we just made. It'll have your bundle ID that I told you right down on it as well. And then hit um, continue. Select your certificate you just made. You'll probably just have one here, but I made a second one for this example video. Um, just name it something. You can do whatever you want. Then download it. Now once it's downloaded, launch Unreal Engine. And yeah, you're going to want to launch your Unreal Engine project. And then once it opens, you're going to go to Project Settings and go to Packaging. And you're going to want to um, switch it to a shipping build because to the App Store, you need to have a shipping build. And there's also a checkbox down here for distribution. You need to check that or else it won't work, right? Uh, it'll probably give you a failed code sign error. So just check that box. Uh, I don't know why they make you do that, but you have to and then go down to the platforms ios settings and 
you're going to need to import your provisioning profile and certificate right there where it says um, your provisioning profile and certificate. Once they're imported, you're going to have, um, you have to take the thing that you wrote down from before and put it in the box where I'm putting mine in now, the bundle identifier field. So just put whatever you wrote down before right in there because that's what we need. And once you get that incorrectly, your provisioning profile with the check marks with distribution should show up. So check both your certificate and your provisioning profile to continue. And yeah, now this should build. You can change any of the settings here. And there's also like custom icons you can do. You can set custom icons, which you'll need to do one for the app store. But I'm just packaging mine here. Um, I'm just doing it to the default folder and yeah, now we just wait for it to package, and yeah, so now it's done packaging. I'm going to apps on the um, developer or uh, app store connect.apple.com. I'm pressing on apps. I'm pressing on plus. I'm going to create a new app, and um, I'm just going to call it whatever I want. I'm going to select iOS. I'm going to pick my language, and for the bundle ID again, this is the one that we just made a few minutes ago. For the the for the SKU, you just put in a random number whatever you want and then just hit create now um, it's gonna load up here and we're going to download transporter I'm gonna have a link in the description this is how you can upload your builds to App Store connect so that you can submit them to App Store and test flight so I'll have it open right here and then basically all you have to do is add app select your file and it'll do this and then you have to hit deliver at some point after it loads for a while but basically just select the file that Unreal Engine packaged for you and it'll upload eventually. So after it is um, uploaded to the App Store through the Transporter app, you'll see it show up here and the status will be processing. So you just need to wait until it, it, the status is no longer processing and when it looks like this. Once it's at that state, you'll be able to have it on your own iOS device, which is good. So to do this, go to the test flight section in the app store so you by default you're over here to see your activity you go over here and to get to test flight you go over here and test flight is how you can test it on your device so to do this uh, I already added my user here but basically you just hit um, there'll be a uh, plus button I think let me just delete this for now and then I'll just add a user and yeah this is what will show up for you so you just pick your user you hit add and then um, yeah they'll be sent an email once your build is done processing over here and then um, yeah they'll be you'll be sent an email to your Apple ID and then you just on your iPhone you have to have test flight from the App Store installed on it and then once it's um, once it's installed you can press the link that will send you and you'll be able to install the app on your iPhone like I'll show you in the next video segment um, but before I show you um, it working I'm just gonna show you um, how you can make a public link so if you don't want to publish it to the App Store yet but you do want to um, have your friends test it or something like that or other people you can uh, add a tester group here you can call it like um, testers and then you can just add a build and you'll need to have this they'll actually need to submit it so I'm not going to um, actually make them make them review it uh, but yeah, you, they'll review it, it might take a few days, and then you just need to, once they're done testing it, it'll be able to say, add public link. And so you can add a public link, and then when you send that link to anyone, they do the same thing you did, they just click on the link and they open test flight. Okay, that's pretty cool. Then, when you want to publish it to the App Store, what you need to do is fill out all this information here. You need to select your build here that you uploaded, um, all this you need to set yes to advertising identifier and just select this one because even though um, you don't even if you aren't serving ads it's going to use it anyway because that's what Unreal Engine does by default um, app information you'll need to fill all this out you'll need to fill all of this stuff out you need to pick a price um, you, you just they want you to fill out all the information and yeah that's basically all it and then you just hit submit for review up here 
and hopefully you get uh, accepted. Um, they accept most apps if they're like good. I mean, if they like work well on devices and they um, they are quality enough, but they don't really have that high standard, so you can get most apps to be submitted. Um, so one other note when you package an unreal engine and you want to submit it to the you want to upload it to the app store again you want to go into the ios settings every time and select, and take the version number and put it up by one every time or else it will fail when trying to um, upload it to the app store so keep that in mind and now i'm just going to show you what it looks like on a mobile device